Namaste. Welcome to the Church of the Global Creator. Today is September 12, 2010, and we are talking about religious harmony. I give thanks to Creator for blessing me with these words. I also give thanks to Creator for this beautiful view we have of the Morro Bay Estuary. Yesterday was September 11th, Patriot Day in the United States. It was a day to remember when, nine years earlier, terrorists destroyed the World Trade Center, killing over 3,000 people and destroying the lives of countless others. The Church of the Global Creator is not a political organization. Our primary purpose is to share the wisdom of Creator with all of humanity. So we restrain ourselves from speculating about conspiracy theories or making political statements. That said, it is still important to note that it was not Muslims who destroyed the World Trade Center. I am not saying that the people who wreaked such horror upon our nation and our people did not think they were Muslims. However, if you were to ask the majority of Muslim people worldwide, they would say that Islam does not condone terrorism and is a religion of peace and love. When Creator spoke to Muhammad, he had no intention of people killing themselves nor other people. Creator does not offer virgins in heaven. Women are not treated as property in heaven. Creator does not even offer heaven to those who murder innocents. Many American Muslims were working at the World Trade Center that day and were killed along with everyone else. They did not support terrorism and did not offer their lives for such a false cause. The last semi-political comments I want to make are about Imam Rauf's plan to build a mosque and community center two blocks away from the site of the World Trade Center horror. As I said, most Muslims are very much against terrorism. I think having a mosque and multi-religious community center two blocks from the tragedy is a clear sign that we understand that most Muslims are wise, peaceful, and loving people. Now. It would be far better if Imam Rauf were to step outside of his world a little further and make it truly a multi-religious center. In other words, heavily involve other churches in its design and construction. Make it a place where anyone of any faith can come and pay honor to God in their own way, be they Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, Jewish, Wiccan, or anything else. Make it so that it can be added to when other religions want to participate. It needs to be a place where people can come and pay honor to God in their own way without disparaging the way in which someone else believes they should honor God. The Church of the Global Creator has a tenet of belief which recognizes that we are human beings and do not know everything there is to know about God. We cannot say the way, that the way another person worships God is wrong, so long as they are not murdering anyone, not hurting children, and they are not involving unwilling participants. We can only say if we believe it is the way God wants us to worship. We must learn to respect that others are intelligent, reasoning beings who base their religious beliefs upon their own experience and their own study of the divine. If God comes to you and says, this is the only way for you, and I want you to tell everyone else about it, it does not mean that you should force everyone else to believe the way you are told to believe. It only means that you should share it with everyone, because many people will follow the path you are given, and others will still learn something from it. Share the wisdom God grants you, and share it with love, gentleness, and kindness. Live your life walking humbly and closely with God. It is through these things that the message you share will have the most impact upon those who need to hear it. I encourage you to tell your friends and family about the Church of the Global Creator and this video ministry.